Latter-day Saints, Mormons, say that what sets their church apart, is that they are led by continuous revelation. Their president, first presidency, and their council of twelve, are sustained as prophets, seers, and revelators. This gives members a sense of comfort. To belong to a church, where your leaders hear, directly from God. Meet, Mark Hoffman. Hoffman was raised in the LDS Church. He served on a two-year mission. He learned that his grandparents had secretly practiced polygamy, long after the church publicly ended the practice. In a letter he wrote to his mom, he objected to how the church handled, with duplicity and secrecy, its own history. Mark Hoffman lost his faith in the LDS Church. He went on to forge dozens of historical Mormon documents. His plan was to use them to embarrass the church. After all, the LDS Church is not led by mere ordinary men. They are prophets, apostles, revelators, and seers who can translate all records that are of ancient date. One of the many Mormon historical documents that Hoffman forged was the Anton transcript. A document with Egyptian characters copied off the Book of Mormon's gold plates by founder Joseph Smith. Presenting it to church leaders Gordon Hinckley and Spencer Kimball, Hoffman noticed that the Mormon prophets got teary-eyed while viewing the fake document. Sadly, they acquired it, and many other counterfeit documents, including direct purchases by Gordon Hinckley, and the First Presidency. The Church published those documents that were favorable to it, including the forged Anton transcript. They also secretly acquired documents, that reflected poorly on the church, to suppress them. Hoffman leaked, to the press, information about those documents that the church secretly acquired. The publicity forced the church to produce, albeit reluctantly, the very documents they wanted to hide. Meanwhile, others were starting to suspect Mark Hoffman of forgery. He got desperate, and rigged several homemade bombs, which killed two people in one day. That same day, Hoffman met with LDS Apostle, Darlin Oaks. The next day, another of Hoffman's bombs accidentally detonated in his own car, making him the prime suspect, of the prior bombings. Investigators found evidence of Hoffman's forgeries in his basement, and prosecuted him for counterfeiting, and murder. Authorities believed that church leaders were stonewalling their investigation. Chief Investigator Jim Bell remarked, they're hiding something. The church is doing everything it can, to make this as difficult as possible. I've never seen anything like this in a homicide investigation. If true, what trust do we place in a church, that would rather stonewall an investigation, of a murderer, just to avoid having to admit, they were duped, by Hoffman? What trust do we place in a church that boasts, it is led by continuous revelation, but they cannot discern fake church documents? What trust do we place in a church, that is so worried about hiding and censoring its history, that it only relents, after they get caught. Get your copy at mormonhandbook.com